Hi, let's go ahead and bring in some XY data into ArcMap or ArcGIS Desktop. I've got a spreadsheet here in CSV format, comma separated value. Notice I've got business name, a latitude, and a longitude. Notice that these don't have to be called latitude, longitude, or XY, or lat long. It doesn't matter. As long as you specify it when you bring it into ArcMap, you'll be fine. Notice that my longitudes are negative, indicating the western hemisphere, and my latitudes are positive, indicating the northern hemisphere. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up ArcMap here and I'm going to add data and I'm going to find that file right here. And so by files added I can go ahead and open it and look at it and it looks pretty much the same as it did over in Excel except now it's a CSV inside ArcMap. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, now we can right click on there and we can do a display XY data. And now this is where I was indicating that we specify the X field is my longitudes and my Y field is my latitudes. I don't have any Z, but right here this is important. It doesn't know what coordinate system it's in, so we need to edit that. It's geographic, geographic coordinates and it's in the world WGS84. If you need more help with, with uh, coordinate systems, I highly recommend the lining up data book from SRE Press. All right, so now we've said OK there. Now it knows that it's the geographic coordinate system, and we're going to go ahead and bring in the data. It's warning us that we don't have an object ID. That's OK. Uh, that just means that this is a CSV and not a GIS file, per se. We can go ahead and label these features now, and there are labels on there. And let's go ahead and add a base map now, and let's select, how about the topographic base map from ArcGIS Online? All right, there's the topographic base map. Let's go ahead and add that. And now let's go ahead and watch as that topographic base map floats underneath the points that we've just added. Okay, very good. There are our points. It uh, looks like we've got one down here, and the rest of them are all in this community. So let's go ahead and zoom in over here. Okay, there are my points. Let's go ahead and symbolize those a bit differently. We can do the uh, operation where we change the symbology. So let's go to properties and let's go to symbology and let's go to instead of single symbol we want how about unique values and let's add all values and let's change the symbol for all values and so what we've got is properties for all symbols. Let's just bump up the size a little bit there and let's say OK there and now we've got larger symbols for each one of these. Now we can click on these symbols, of course, and get our data for each one of these. Uh, of course, we can change the base map here. We've got some labels here. We can change the labels if we wanted to. We could also, and this is probably even more important, if I right-click on this CSV file, I'm probably going to want to export it uh, into some sort of shape file or a geodatabase because if it sits there as a CSV, it's really not all that powerful. It's not a GIS file, right? It's still just displaying a CSV in a common coordinate space uh, in this case. So I would go ahead and export this, and I probably want to get out of, at some point in the near future, latitude, longitude, geographic coordinate systems, simply because if I'm doing some spatial analysis, I don't want to be working in this geographic coordinate space. I want to be working in a real map projection like uh, Mercator, uh, not Mercator, but uh, um, something like Mulvite or Eckert 4 or Robinson or UTM or State Plane or something like that where I'm actually going to get uh, solid results for all my spatial analysis that I can trust. All right, so that is importing the XY data into ArcGIS Desktop or ArcMap. Thanks.